deep trouble too. This is a fun sequel. It's not as good as the first book. In fact, I'd say this is definitely more horror than the first book was, to be honest. It's still a fun book. So what's the plot? So what does it get? We follow Billy Deep, his sister Sheena, and their uncle. Dr. George Deep on the boat, the Cassandra out of the Caribbean. It takes place a year after the first book of this book. And then there's like, there's Plankton. So, basically a Billy comes across a, this Plankton that Dr. D has been experimenting on. So he ends up giving it to like a his pet goldfish and a snail and that was in the aquarium with the goldfish. Then um, a little while later, uh, the snail in the aquarium has gotten so big it like is on the ship. And, and they manage hide it and then another boat comes up around led by another scientist named Dr. Ritter and Dr. Ritter uh, notices the giant snail and he captures Dr. D. Billy and Sheena on to bring them onto his boat and Dr. Ritter explains that he created this plankton so basically the plankton causes things to grow to incredible sizes, like huge, humongous sizes, basically. Nothing. Uh... So Dr. Ritter keeps them hostage on his boat. And then one night, the deeps manage to escape onto a raft and they Drift to an island the next morning. Going to be attacked by a giant seagulls. A bit of other giant stuff along the way. So they managed to get back to their boat, the Cassandra. And then, of course, they run into Dr. Ritter again. And he's like, I'm going to test to see if the plankton can also turn, can turn people into people as well. So I should say a bunch of shenanigans uh, happened in them. And Dr. Ritter, like, he drinks the plankton, Dr. Ritter. And then he turns into a fish and swims away. Yeah, I know. Pretty ridiculous. Now let's just say a bunch of other stuff happens. And that's essentially deep trouble, too. So the positives. I kind of like the idea, like the setting of the giant sea creatures. It has like that whole 50s movie, B-movie vibe to it. And um, I liked how over-the-top Dr. Ritter was. I mean, he is probably one of the most over-the-top Goosebumps villains ever. And, and Billy is once again a good protagonist. And the deep, the rest of the deep family are likable as well. The negatives, uh, I'm not really 
really a fan of the cover. It's just kind of eh, you know, with the goldfish eye with the vampire teeth and pink eyes. Yeah, not that scary. Not scary at all. Well, anyway, uh, that's real all to say about Deep Trouble. It's a fun sequel to a great book. Yeah, but I really liked it. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.